It's a great feeling, isn't it? Heading off out to somewhere you thought you knew, only to find you didn't know it nearly half as well as you should. There's always something else waiting to be discovered. I'm going to take you out on a local trip to the Bathgate Hills, a rolling landscape of crags, forests and wee nooks and crannies to explore. Now it wouldn't be called the Bathgate Hills without the town of Bathgate. It's a wee town slap bang in between Edinburgh and Glasgow. It's no bustling city, I mean there's not much for Spider-Man to swing from around here, but the people are friendly and it's got a lot of history. My favourite thing about the town though is that it's only 10 minutes walk from the centre and you're into the countryside. The Galabrae's standing stone. It's been sitting here watching over Bathgate for at least 160 years. I wanted to have a closer look, but the stone was protected by some bovine bouncers, watching my every move. They soon saw me off, and I headed along the road into the Raven Craig woods. The first stop of the day is Raven Craig, an exposed rocky outcrop with some nice views. A wee path leads through the dark, crow crowded woods to the summit. Once there, I found an impressive memorial etched into stone. I'm not sure who Troll was, but they must have been well loved for someone to have built such a nice wee memorial for them, in such a beautiful location. Heading back down, I caught something at the corner of my eye, hovering in the distance. A kestrel hawk, eyes fixed on the ground, scanning for its prey. It's a short walk from Raven Craig to the next stop of the day, up a steep road. Once there, it's time to climb the Knock Hill. A tiny wee lump, with some of the best views over to Edinburgh and the Firth of Forth. It's a steep but very short climb to the top. Just watch you don't get holes torn in your trousers by the gorse bushes that line the path. The views at the top make the torn trousers worth it though. You can see many nearby hills from this vantage point, from the Campsie Fells over near Glasgow to the Monroes of northern Loch Lomond, and also the Ochil Hills near Stirling. I still had some way to go, so it was time to get a move on. A stone circle filled with sheep lay ahead. It looked like they were undertaking some sort of ritual. Not wanting to become their human sacrifice, I left them to it. Thank you. 
pass by Cairn Papel, an ancient burial site, and down towards the forest at an area known as the Witch Craig. It was time to head off road and follow the winding forest trails that cover much of the area. When I got to the top, I didn't know what to expect. Maybe a witch burning stove or something. But I found this, a stone structure, with seats arranged in a peculiar fashion, like some sort of tortuous seating configuration you might find on a ScotRail train. I'd been walking for a wee bit now, so I stopped to have a break and soak in the views. A perfect place to sit and watch the world go by. I could see my final destination of the day in the distance, Cockle Roy Hill, the best viewpoint in all of the Bathgate Hills. I started heading back down into the forest, making my way towards Bee Craig's Country Park. I'd been walking in the Bathgate Hills before, many times, but every time I do, I end up finding some other hidden path that leads off to some secret wee corner. There's a lot to explore up here. I was getting close now, across the busy road towards Cockleroy. I headed through the forest, which looked like the aftermath of Tunguska. It's not all destruction here though. This sorry looking tree was host to a chatty wee chaffinch. The grassy green slopes of Cockle Roy lay ahead, like a desktop wallpaper straight from Windows XP. The climb is short, but the views are spectacular.
It's the perfect place to sit back and relax on a sunny day. It wasn't just me relaxing and enjoying the sunshine though. There's good views down to Lomithgo Palace. The viaduct. And on a clear day, you can see over to the famous Fourth Bridges. I could just make out Stirling Castle through the haze. But that's enough adventuring for one day. There's so much more to see up here, but my locked down legs couldn't carry me any further. It was time to head home. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you all next time.